we understand there's some good news. Yes, my brother's at home. He's doing really well. He's already made it back and been released from the hospital. Um, and really, we're just grateful for the support of our community here in Houston, our family and friends. And Zach's got a really wonderful community in D.C. So we've been incredibly supported and grateful for how well law officials, law enforcement officials have handled this whole situation. And um, they've been very communicative and done an excellent job there in D.C. So we're just really grateful that he's doing well. What did he tell you? Um, he just said that he was home um, and that he was in good condition. He was doing really well. He was able to speak to us throughout the day. So. Oh, good. What did he tell you about when the shooting occurred and he was there on the field? Um, he just said that I think he, he had kind of scattered thoughts about it, as one could expect. But um, he just said he heard uh, one gunshot and then he heard someone yell run and then he ran towards the dugout. Um, he was in the outfield when it happened. He went to the ground. Everyone kind of had dropped to the ground. Um, and then he heard a few rapid fire shots, felt himself, get, felt himself get shot in the calf. And then he got up and ran to the dugout. So did he see the gunman aiming right for him? Um, I, I don't know the okay. answer to that. Okay. And did he use the belt? How, how did he use the, the belt? Then? I don't know okay. that answer either. Okay. So tell us again, look in this one, he, he, you said he heard a shot. When, tell us what happened, what he did. Uh, he just, he heard one gunshot and then he heard someone yell run, just a loud pop. And then he heard someone yell run. And at that point he ran inward towards the dugout. And, and how long did he say it had went on? Or? I can't answer that question. Describe how emotional this is for you and your family. Um, when I got the call this morning, it was definitely um, something extremely scary to wake up to. But um, as we've kind of heard news and the progression and know that he's okay, um, we've just kind of clung to each other and clung to our friends and family. And they've been a wonderful support system. And we're just incredibly grateful to live in a place where we feel so supported and for Zach to be so well supported by the people that he's around up there in D.C. How heartbreaking is this for you that something like this could happen and at, at a charity baseball game? Um, I think we're just we're just sad that it happened to our Zach. How's your mom? My mom is she's a stronghold in our family. She um, obviously was scared at first, but um, I think having our friends and family around has really helped her. Um, and especially being able to talk to Zach and just hear his voice and he sounds great um, and he just he cares so much about us too so it's been it's been really great to hear from him constantly and have that communication. When did he get interested in government and politics? I mean is this his dream job? Um, I don't know that's a great question uh, that would probably need to be directed to Zach. What do you personally think of the fact that the gunman uh, was a Bernie Sanders supporter and he apparently said a lot of anti-Trump things on his Facebook page and so this, there's speculation that this could have been kind of you know, politically motivated and that kind of thing. I'm not going to get into the politics of it. We're just glad that Zach's okay. How about his injury? What, is he, what, do, you, what do you know and what has he told you? Um, he was shot in the left calf and the bullet went directly through his left calf. He is able to walk kind of. He can't put very much weight on it, but he said the bullet went right in and out. So um, he was able just to get outpatient care and he's doing well. Wow. Is yeah. your father relieved to, to see him and to be there with him? Yeah. And describe um, that? Yeah. My brother and my dad are extremely close. So um, whenever my brother said, dad, I really want you here. My dad booked a ticket that moment and was on a plane to DC and he just landed actually. So I think they're both really grateful that he can be there so quickly. Do you yep. think they'll bring him home or keep him there? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, do you know if he plans to go to the game tomorrow? I'm not sure. Cindy mentioned Hale Trip. <coughs> Tell us a little bit about Hale's Trip. <laughs> this past weekend I was in Chicago with my older brother Zach and my little sister Charlotte who's 16 and we went to go and see Hamilton. It was Charlotte's Christmas present. Um, she's obsessed with the musical so. Who is? <laughs> <laughs> so I just saw him this past weekend. Sunday we were together. So. Mm -hmm. You guys must be pretty close to spend time. Mm -hmm. We are. We definitely are close. And I understand, was he playing catch? That's what I understood was what was happening all this. Did he tell you? Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing at that moment. I know that um, he would get up for early baseball practices with the congressman, uh, and Zach loves baseball. So he was just there um, 
just there warming up the congressman, playing catch is something he's always loved. He grew up playing baseball? He didn't, no. Mm -hmm. Just loves the sport, like he loves all sports.